Jamie Wee Wee Vlogs Talk. Oh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Nikki French, I've interviewed you so many times. I know. You don't I hate you'd, seeing me. I'd have thought you'd get bored, by, but bored of it by now. Our readers love you. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm here for them. Oh, and I'm please. never bored of you. Oh, thank you. Even though I've never played your song again. No. Well, as Graham Norton said, neither did anyone else. <laughs> you become a bit of a Eurovision veteran. When the BBC had you on, um, quite recently, about Australia, you were so excited about them joining. I just, I, you know, I, I, I like, as someone said recently, Eurovision is all about sort of moving on and changing and, and innovation. And, I, you know, it, it's a strange thing, but, you know, it's welcome. And now we've heard the song, it's very, very welcome. I think it's a fabulous song and I saw Guy's performance last weekend in Amsterdam on, on the, uh, the computer and I was just blown away by his voice. Amazing. Is it your favourite? I can't say that because I haven't heard all of them yet. There's That's two or three unlike. that I've got. I know, I know. I'm very behind this year. I think it was looking at the schedule for this that just made me think, oh my goodness. I mean, tonight, with a few acts doing three or four songs each, plus all the others doing their one or two songs. Plus your multiple costume changes. Oh, do you know what? I've brought loads. And there's some new ones as well. There's some new ones as well. Um, I, just, just, you know, sort of looking at the schedule for this, I was thinking, well, We've effectively got semi-finalists and finalists all in one show tonight. It's it's effectively going to be like having 40-odd acts on, because they're not just doing one song, they're all doing at least one song. Back after back. Whew, it's going to be a long night. Brace yourselves. Well, then so is your career. You've had pop hits and you've had Eurovision hits, you know, so just throw it all in and you go to Brazil, you do your thing. I do. I love my time in Brazil. I so love it in Brazil. And I'm not booked there this year. It's, it's really hard. I'm sort of thinking, there's something missing from the diary. I would add yet to that. Yet. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. 60 years of Eurovision. Now, what observations have you had over the years? Oh, goodness me. Um, well, what I will say, and uh, something that I knew when I was a kiddie, is that Eurovision can do the best ballads, and I love a good old ballad. Um, it's, as a, again, it's moved. It's gradually tried to sort of move itself with the times. That's why we've got so many more countries entering. Um, and, you know, the huge staging, the, the, the pyrotechnics, the, the special effects, it's all amazing. You know, it's, it's fantastic. And every year you, you still get new songs and new acts and, and great fun. You know, there's fun there, there's, there's serious stuff. It's, it's just brilliant. And what are your thoughts on Electra Velvet, United Kingdom 2015. You say <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you said that. No, no, don't sit on the fence. <laughs> tell, tell us what you think. <laughs> okay, Nikki French, that tells us all we need no, to know. No, I love it. I love it. I'm happy with it. When I very first heard it, when I, when I pressed my red button on that Saturday night, I will admit I, I just sat there thinking... No, really? And then I listened to it a few more times overnight and the next morning. And yeah, well done, BBC. They took it off the red button after about 12 hours. <laughs> but um, I watched it on YouTube and, and kept watching it. And after about 24 hours, completely changed my opinion. I love it. You do know that the millions of viewers only have three minutes. You only have three minutes to I court know. your audience. However, I reckon that it's no. so quirky and so different that I think a lot of the other countries will play it in advance. You know, your Sweden's and places like that. In other years, we all know, you know, there's certain songs that they will play on their local radios and, and people know them by the time it gets to Eurovision. We all know how big Sweden Sweden is with Eurovision. So they'll pick a few songs and I reckon that, that Electro Velvet will be in there somewhere. Well on that note <laughs> you <son. laughs> You're supposed to be impartial, Deva. I am impartial, Nikki. I am impartial and I'm loving your hair. It's Eurovision with attitude. Is it? You were blonde the last time I interviewed you. Oh my goodness. Really? See? No, I went dark and then just recently the hairdresser tries to diplomatically tell me that with age you have to lighten up again so 
it's, it's well, getting lighter again. Well, we approve. Again. We think you're stunning. Thank we think you. You're I think you are too. We think we're going to play that song <laughs> over and over again. Oh, please do. Tell our readers something they should know. If you're coming along to the show tonight, or if you're watching this after the show's been on, you missed, or you're going to see tonight, a brand new mix of my Eurovision song, Don't Play That Song Again, that you won't have seen before. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh.